Hello everyone, welcome back to Second Life's Travels. We are here at Viper's Haunted Halloween today. I had seen this place last time I was here for last year's Halloween, but I didn't get a chance to do much stuff back then. So I am happy to see it here now. We went ahead and picked up a flashlight here. Have our advanced lighting on as usual. Always nice for sims like this. So what I've been able to tell from taking a look around this place just a little bit earlier is that it appears to be a haunted trail type of thing, like it has a straight pathway through everything. So the first thing we're heading up to is an asylum. Which I noticed right away this is a straight path because I had tried to go upstairs uh, when I went in here earlier and I found out that everywhere upstairs, to get upstairs, is blocked off. So it very much seems to be particulars on where you want to go through here. Never seen that before, that must be something new. It's always interesting to see um, what all the vendors and whatnot come up with every year. Here's another glass box, but it's broken. We have a contraption music player going off in the background. Which it's actually been quite a bit of time since I've last heard of a music box coming out from them. I used to have them for the arcade, but I don't see them anymore. This guy's having a shocking good time. Skeleton over there has seen better days. What's this? See two paintings next to it. That's a pretty neat effect, actually. I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> Nothing good. Oh jeez, walked right into that one. This looks like a zombie guard, perhaps. Uh, turn and look at me. That doesn't look to be doing any good either. I mean, nobody does here, to be honest, but. <laughs> you, 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 you're all mad! <laughs> What's the news, Doctor? 
is gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> Well, I wasn't expecting that. I think I'll leave that room now. Body in the bed. Guess he's just clowning around. I have to say this flashlight actually gets like perfect shots for whatever reason. I don't know, I usually don't get that. Oh, is it falling? Uh, I guess not. That was actually, it looked like it was following me for a moment. Whoops. You need to keep your head in bed there. <laughs> well, that sucks to be you, isn't it? Looks like we're getting towards the end of the asylum in any case. That's a lot of ghost toys. Another one just resting in bed. Oh jeez. Skeleton ghost. All right. Should probably go meet the other person that's back down that way. On the chains there. Yes, but it's fresh and warm. So close to freedom, but that unlucky. You probably don't need to be in that iron lung or whatever that is anymore. <laughs> I've always said two hands are better than one. <laughs> 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 I've always said two hands are better than one. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and exit the asylum now and take a look out the, out the streets here, which nothing seems to be doing any better out here.
I see something falling off over there. <laughs> Guess the zombie apocalypse decided to happen at the same time. It's a nice uh, design, as you can basically just walk through scenes like this and see everything. Without potentially wandering off. open inside. <laughs> Things not going so well here. This one's a bit different though. You look a little bit out of place there. <laughs> Must have came on vacation. Oh, having a bit of a... Okay, there we go. Had a bit of a graphical issue there. Used to happen a lot more commonly, but it's gone away quite a bit, and it only happens at very rare times now. So I'm not sure what's changed about it, but that's the first time I've seen it in quite a while. Looks like we're heading into a cave system now. bit of a uh, frame drop there, but this place has actually been fairly decent otherwise. Looks like a shelter. behind door number one. Hmm. It's actually a very long cave. Yeah, looks like we're finding something now, finally. Oh, jeez. They shoot fireballs, too. Nice. Yeah, 
You almost got me there. And we've got spiders. Frostbites, in fact. Quite the little family. They've been busy. expecting that <laughs> right at the it looks to be the exit door for whatever area we're heading to next uh -huh. aha yeah, we got a looks like a haunted house over this way actually we got a couple of them looks like one with just the big taped up sign that says haunted house Okay, I just did a quick, um, did a quick check on some of the sound noises here. I haven't seen this house before, I don't think. Well, maybe, like, maybe once or so, but I'm pretty sure this must be, like, a newer design of a house that was done recently or something. I don't remember it last year, but then again, I didn't go very far last year. But it does look nice, I have to say. Jeez. Got some more of those dolls in the tub. Somebody's definitely been working things up here. <laughs> oh, Remarkable Oblivion made this house? That's what I assume the RO is. Door's not clicking for some reason. Oh, that would be why. Chains all to the face. More dolls. Definitely seem to be enjoying them here. All right. Looks like we're heading into a carnival area. Already got my ticket, I assume. Now yeah, we got some rides to do here. I don't think I've ridden this asylum ride here to the right. I think I have ridden that haunted house one before, and I think that's where most of the sound bits I'm gonna have to edit out are over there, because it's a lot of like theme songs for horror movies and stuff like that. And YouTube doesn't like that. So it looks like I think there's four rides? Or is it maybe three? I'm not quite sure. Two of them were like a big box thing and looked similar to each other, but maybe it's two separate things.
This place sure does look desolate. <laughs> Yeah, it is two different places. Let's go ahead and try out this one. I think only the mountain looking haunted house one is the only one I've been on before. So these are brand new to me. Flaming skulls. It's pretty neat that people still make rides and stuff on here, because they... I just did like a whole month of amusement parks and things like that not too long ago, like in... I think it was June. Oh wow, that looks nice. I can understand why this place is so big now. Oh, this actually goes fast too. And these sort of rides are easy to record on because usually you just have to leave the leave yourself a mouse look and look at the front. Okay. Someone had started talking on voice as well, and I wasn't expecting that. Some sort of glass panel over there. And here's the owner messaging me, too. Yep, it's Viper. <laughs> Just like the namesake of the place. That happened to me over at uh, Ellen's as well. Oh, they didn't have a pleasant time, did they? <laughs> uh, it looks like we're back at the beginning again. 
That's one ride down, three more to go. Yeah, we'll just keep on moving on here. They're almost all back to back besides the Asylum one. So I guess I'll just go along this uh, side here and then do the Asylum one last, I think. Alrighty. Let's see what this one does for us. I'm a little bit uh, tired here, but I'm keeping up with it. Always nice to do these Halloween places at night anyways. Ooh, this looks pretty nice. Giant spider. Wow, there's a lot of uh, rain and stuff going on here. This one's definitely been detailed out. Into the darkness. Ah, now we're in a hallway. A lot of pictures here. Well, that's neat. The vehicle moves on its own unless you see the pictures without having to move the mouse look. Ooh, that's creepy. Spooky, scary skeletons. Scariest ghost I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, we're up above now. I didn't even realize that we went upwards. Ah, uh, skel giant skeleton head moves. Oh, 
Oh, nice. It's like a... I guess it's a laboratory of sorts. Or a study, at least. That is a giant rat there. Looks like we're heading out into some haunted woods. It reappears right in front of our face. Oh, that's neat. Just shadow hands moving down through the fog at us. I like how the lights on the coaster itself that we're on seems to go in and out with the scenes. Or maybe that's just a trick of the, um... I forget the name of it, Opacity or something like that, with the dark outs, but I don't know. Either way, it looks neat. This is definitely a really nice ride. Whoever did this one put way much more work into it than I was expecting. <laughs> I do kind of wonder what it looks like on basic because I always do these videos for the most part on advanced lighting. So I do wonder if there's a particular difference or not. Green gas. Oh, is this an elevator? Wow, that's... I don't know if this is like a working elevator or if it's actually just like a trick. But either way, that's pretty neat looking. And we're back at the entrance again. That was definitely a very nice ride, I have to say. In any case, that's two rides down and two more to go. I think we'll head up that uh, mountain-looking haunted house next. Yep, right over that way. We got some duck hooking ducks here. I can already see the exit sign on the fence over there, so now we know where to exit at to the next area. I've already had to um, 
sit down and mute quite a few sound effects into this ride. So if you want the full effect, I would come down to Viper's ha Haunted Halloween and see it for yourself. will be on the wall there. Oh, we can see plenty of stuff here. Looks like we're moving towards the right first. See with this one, it has a lot of uh, all pictures with it as well. Just in time for the new Halloween movie. I think we're heading this way. <laughs> Whoa, move away from the skeleton. That's too much for me to handle. all this detail, gory stuff at me, but a JPEG skeleton coming at me, that's just too much, man. And more dolls. And we got Chucky for company as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, and here's Freddy. There goes our car. It's all up. Uh, it looks like that's the end for us. Looks like Freddy did us in. That makes ride three. And now we only have that the, um, asylum ride over there to take a look at. So let's go ahead and do that. The uh, stand right there as well. Don't know if I'd trust the meat there or not, though. Oh, there's even a line thing here. That's neat. <laughs> Alright, this abandoned building was remodeled and fitted with a special UV lighting system that enables visitors to see echoes of the past. Fancy. Well, that's not a very good vision to see. Some interesting rides this year, I have to say. Maybe it's because I usually don't end up at places to have them uh, for uh -oh. Halloween. Shouldn't have done that. I know it must have been you. All the ones I haven't ridden this year have been pretty great looking so far. legit creepy right there. Sounds like an auto audio recording of something, but I can't make it out really. See all the asylum kids from the orphanage here. The orphanage asylum, which is kind of a interesting idea. Heading somewhere else now. Looks like a bathroom of sorts. I'm not quite sure. All right, now we're just starting to look look down now. Ooh.
some pretty good uh, lighting effects here too. some fog going through here too. You've been very bad. I saw what you did. That looks like a library of sorts. A lot of patience here in any case. No zombies, but you're already a zombie. Thank you. Oh, the one adult in this place, also a ghost. It looks like the ride's over. I think this may have been the shortest one out of the bunch, but it was definitely a pretty nice looking ride. In any case, we're going to go ahead and run for the next area here. Take something to go here. Just a little snack. Where's the trail gonna lead us this time? Looks like we're heading back into another cave, perhaps. Maybe. Eh, was the cave, but it looks like we're already at the exit again. back at the entrance. Well, that was a fun little thing. Um, definitely was a more straightforward thing than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Doesn't really allow you to get lost at all. In any case, I would definitely say to come check it out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy Halloween.